What's going on guys? This is David here with Sheepdog Services here in beautiful South Mississippi. It is a gorgeous day today. And today I get to go cut my favorite yard. Yeah, y'all already seen it, but it, it turned out a lot better. I've already cut it. So I know what it looks like already. And it, it turns out great. I'm super excited for y'all to see it. And uh, stay tuned because I, may, I'm, I might be changing the name of the business. I, I have a name in mind. So uh, y'all stay tuned for that and for the quote of the day. All right, y'all enjoy. All right, guys, so real quick, I want to show you, uh, I, I discharged the grass in the wrong direction, and the reason why I'm saying that is, like, if you see right here, I'm blowing it back toward the sidewalk. The reason why I'm saying I'm blowing it in the wrong direction, that, that adds more time of having to blow that grass off. Had I, had I took my first pass through there, blowing it back into the yard, then that would have been that much less grass having to be blown off of the sidewalks and the hard surfaces. It may not seem like much, but every little bit of, of uh, time like that it uh it cuts out it helps a lot so that's just a little tip anyway back to the video
Well, guys, I apparently screwed up the uh, the camera when I was trying to record this, but these are the stripes I'm talking about, and I'm super excited about them. It normally doesn't happen this way. All right, guys, so I hope y'all enjoyed that. That uh, that's, That is literally my favorite yard, and those stripes that came out, like I said, they're not perfect, but I'm super excited about them, and that's what counts. As long as you're happy with the work that you're doing, and so is your customer. Well, I guess as long as your customer's happy with it. But uh, take pride in what you do. It, uh, it makes the day go by a little bit better. All right, I got to do that yard a little bit faster than I normally do because I got all this hair finally cut off, made me nice and aerodynamic. Anyway, uh, so the name of the business uh, that I thought of, me and Matt both are, are in law enforcement. So think about the two pig lawn care. Come on now, y'all know that's funny. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you with this, the quote of the day. And it comes from uh, Winston Churchill once said, success is not final and failure, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that matters. And how does that relate to what we do and into business? Just because you've gotten to where you're at and you may be making a decent profit it's not always going to be that way if you stop working toward it. Just because you've made it to that finish line doesn't mean the work stops. That's whenever you need to kick it in, get another gear, and keep going. Put another goal out there. There should be another finish line. Always put another finish line out there in front of you for you to strive for. And uh, failure is not fatal. That part, what I, what I think he means by that is just because you fail at something, don't just give up. Don't just take the, uh, the the negativity out of that failure and that's all you get. You need to take the good out of it too. What good am I talking about? Whenever you fail, you find out valuable information. You find out what you need to improve on. You find out how you, how you found out the wrong way to do something. Don't do it that way again. Let's try it a different way. Failure is not always a bad thing. I mean, uh, Einstein, whenever he made the light bulb, I think it was 200 and some, I can't remember how many, 218 maybe. And somebody asked him, well, you failed 218 times. He goes, no, I didn't. I found out 218 ways not to make a light bulb. That's why you gotta think about it. So, and the courage to continue is all that matters. Hey, that speaks for itself. Yeah, you may be down, you may have lost your butt on some jobs, maybe, you know, in the hole, but do you have what it takes to continue or are you gonna go back to your nine to five job? I know this sounds a little cliche as coming from me because I have a part-time lawn care, but I'm doing what I love. I'm doing what I I was put on this earth to do and that's law enforcement. Lawn care and having my own business is a passion. And it is, it is a side, if I lose everything right now, I won't be terribly heartbroken about it because I still have my law enforcement career. That's where my heart is. That's what I was put on this earth to do. So have the courage to continue whenever all else has failed. Everything else has failed, falling around you. Everything else has failed. Nothing's working right. Have that courage to push through because there's brighter days ahead. All right, guys, I appreciate every one of y'all that subscribed. I've jumped up to... I think 317 was the last time I looked. And man, whenever I, I started this thing, I didn't think I was gonna get more than 20 people. And that's just because of the people I knew at work and I, I was making them <laughs> subscribe. But uh, I appreciate every single one of you. If you haven't subscribed, please consider to do so. If you like this kind of videos and stuff, hit that thumbs up for me. And uh, we'll see you next time. Y'all take care.